Yeah! Club. I want to start with the... do 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 it's time to do 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 I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Legacy of the Duelist. Oh. Both separately good games. Well, I mean, Together, they're still both all... Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, We're going to be playing the uh, original series, me and Billy. All right. Uh, part of the cards. Now, do you want to do voices and stuff this uh, afternoon? Gramps, could you show me and my friends your super awesome, super rare, awesome card? It's not that high. Rare card? You mean my special card? Hmm. Please, please. Ha <laughs> ha! How can I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. It's his penis. <laughs> Ready? Here it is. The blue eyes white dragon. So rare. So powerful. I never let it leave my hands. Oh wow. Why's it gotta be a white dragon? Wow. Is I mean, the black we, dragon not yeah, as good? Yeah. This card is priceless. There are only four of them on all the world. Suddenly, a roommate from school ran into the shop. His name was Beep Boop Zeto Kaiba, the young Kyo of Kiaiba Corp. He had found the card we don't have he to do was voices. looking for. Okay. So, oh, dude, we can use. We should do the story deck, though. XZ but. structure deck. Yeah, let's fucking do Pendulum structure deck and ruin this <laughs> whole game. <laughs> Like Pendulum did to the game. It didn't ruin it. It just... It threw off some balance. No. It's perfectly balanced with the other cards. You always want to, you always want to go second. Early early times, you always want to go second. Oh, uh, do I? Yeah, because you always get to attack first. Mm. So it's always... They put a monster in defense position, and then you go for it. Well, it's not like he's going to summon blue eyes bitch nerd dragon. You don't know. Time. You don't know. I mean... Oh, do, do I draw? No. Nope, that's Because your first turn, you don't draw first turn. I wasn't sure. Also, hard of the underdog, throw that up, it's real good. Uh, during your draw phase, when you draw normal. So set that. I nope. guess it better as well. Yeah, activate it. Also, this deck has Exodia in it, so it's a. It's. Sub a draw deck. So. Let's set that. Alright, uh, it's in my turn. So, it, it, the basic strategy it wants you to go for right now is to draw Exodia. Also, <laughs> it's not like he's gonna play fucking blue eyes white dragon first turn. I'll spellbinding circle it. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so this is the original. Not, not the. It's wasn't spellbinding circle like also seven hundred attack is reduced from him. No, that's like kunai with chain and stuff like that. Uh. And there's also like fiendish chain or something like that. That's similar. Hmm. I know Fiendish Chain is, uh... Or no, that's negate it, its effect. I don't know. There was one. It wasn't Spellbinding Circle, but there was one that, like, dropped it, too. Uh, yeah, I'll activate Heart of the Underdog. Yep, and if you draw another normal card, you get to keep doing it, but you don't. Oh, dude, but, swords. Yep. Let's activate it. Why not? Um... Uh, what's our highest attack? Well, I mean, I guess. If well, you wanted to do attack. I mean, I, there's no reason not to. We have swords out. Okay, or er, Spellbinding Circle eliminates all of their... Or they can't attack, right? Correct. Okay, all right. So, yeah. so I mean, we can just get rid of that... Yep. You know, Kuni asshole or whatever yep. it was. Oh, that's it. Hitsume he, Giant. Fuck! That's it. Shadow Spell was what I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, I knew it had something to do with chains. Well, ah, goddamn it. We lost HP. LP. Life points. Health points. What? Chains of Love. It's a great song. I don't know, Quill. Cool. Alright, so that's one turn on yep. Swords of Revealing Light. Hey! Uh, yeah, Hardly Underdog. Re we'll revel it. Hey. Hardly Underdog. We're gonna have too many fucking cards soon. <laughs> We're gonna have way too many Pot cards. Pot of Green! <laughs> too bad it's illegal. Hey, Hardly hey. Underdog. <laughs> that's now two cards anytime we draw them. Alright, yep. Yeah. Set that bad boy, and yeah. then... I mean, we're gonna run out of cards. Yeah, but not be before bad. we get Exodia. 
Because I'm sure we'll win the game before we have to discard anything. I mean, it sets seven is the max. After seven, you have to discard. What? It, it's a lot weaker now. I mean, everything's uh, still right, Gekki. Yeah. So yeah, you're fine, and then you can start attacking now. So yeah, switch that stone warrior. Or soldier of stone. Yeah. We might not even need Exodia Kaiba. Unless he's got Maybe. Monster Reborn. Yeah. Or another fucking Ancient Rules. Something. That was dumb. It, of course he was gonna do it, though. You... He only has two ex not Exodias, uh, blue eyes in his deck right now, right? No, he's got three. Oh, that's right, because Yuki's grandpa had the fourth one. Yeah. Hey. And that's now two cards. And then if we draw one card, we do two. And then if we draw... <laughs> this is where it gets crazy. So, Once so... you have two, basically you're just infinite draw until you get fucking Exodia. Oh, I guess not. Did uh, you not activate the effect? I did. Okay. I would set that right now until he has... What, another blue eyes white dragon? Yeah, or just anything. So, like, if he puts a monster in defense position, I you can pop that think... and then we might win? If no. we don't get Exodia next turn, we probably win. Yeah. Which is good, and I'm fine by it. Yeah. Uh... Oh, the pendulum's up. Oh, no, never mind, they are. What? Oh, I just didn't see the pendulum zones at first, then yeah. I realized I was being an idiot. What you gonna do, Kaiba? Come on, big boy. Oh, that's a stank-ass card. No, <laughs> get out no, of here. Seriously, get that card off the field, play a better card. Hey, yeah. Let's get another Exodia piece. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Okay. Pretty strong, pretty strong. Hmm. Hey, graceful charity. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Alright. Another <laughs> part of the underdog. Uh... Don't fucking get rid of Exodia pieces. Just. <laughs> I'll say yeah, another part of the underdog. We need two more pieces. I want to win by stall? Exodia. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This is the reason no one's ever been able to summon him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... For the best duelist in the world, Kaiba's kind of ass. Eh, at the moment. And he never said he was the best duelist. Why would you... Well, I mean, uh, he I mean, is the best okay. duelist, though. But he's not. Yugi is, but... Well, best currently known duelist. Okay. Because, like, at this point in the series, Yugi hasn't really made a name for himself. Okay, then I guess at this moment is when he makes the name. Sure. Alright, come on. Normal card. I mean, there we go. Heart of the Underdog. Come on. That's three cards out of 15. <laughs> we have a 1 in 5 chance of drawing an Exodia. No? Yeah, in a piece of Exodia, we need two of them. Hey, Dark Magician. What the fuck? But we got Dark Magician. We did get Dark Magician. We can win by Dark Magician. Sort of. Not at the moment, but... Oh, wait. Yeah, it has to be two tributes. Yeah, I just don't want Kel... Well, oh. I guess. Well, I mean, sure. Mm. Hey, Ooh, we turned a trophy. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Change defense position... We could do Monster Reborn. Uh, no we can't. Yeah, we can. No, we can't. Oh, okay. I guess we can't. Yeah, why the fuck would you set that card there? God fucking damn it, uh, Sam. Let's get rid of that. And that. And that. <laughs> Ridiculous. This is dumb. This is actually the... Maybe this we is what's We probably should have just won. <laughs> we probably should have just beaten. Nah. We gotta get, uh, Exodia out. Yeah. Be true to the series. Heart of the Underdog. Heart of the Underdog. God damn it. Alright. It's one card. Snatch it's two, two cards. Someone's going It's three cards. God what the damn it. fuck? Eight. Okay, yeah, so it has to be the last card. Okay, okay. So, I... 
There's no way we don't draw into Exodia. I mean, unless turn. that's the very last fucking card. Okay. okay. We have to now, <laughs> unless it's the last one of two. So. Alright, but if we don't get it and we're trying to go for it, we should only activate the. There okay, we there we go. Alright. When using the effect of the Forbidden One. Hey, trophy! And then this is when Kaiba goes, oh. and then his face like changes. You only play power, weird. Kaiba. That is why you lost. Blah 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 blah. Oh, it said nothing about Exodia. <laughs> okay. We wasted our time. So the Great Moth. Yeah. Because the next battle is uh, whatever his name is. Weevil. Yeah, Weevil Underwood. The first battle of Duelist Kingdom. Oh. Uh, yeah, dude, Weevil was kind of an asshole, huh? Also, his deck was fucking bullshit. What do you mean? Well, all it was was just stall until you get perfectly ultimate Great Moth, which was a shit card and took six turns to create. And then Our his... deck is stall until you get all five pieces okay, of Okay, well, not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, because Weevil was we a don't fucking have little cunt munch and fucking yeah. threw him off the side Maybe of the boat. we got Burning Land. We did. Also, it's probably Gaia the Dragon Knight as our fusion card, if we wanted to check that out. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's neat. Er, he already went. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yep, yeah, two Gaia the Dragon Champ. So, we want to keep this in our hand, yeah? Well, yeah. I mean, well, that's the only card we can use. But you want to... You probably should have used Graceful Charity first. Well... This card is activated if there's any fuel spell. Get fucked. Get that down. But it's consistent, and I think anytime there's something. There's something more to it, but we take damage because of it now. Help. Oh. During each player's stand by phase, they take 500 damage. Yep. Mm. Well. Maybe, maybe it won't be that bad. Maybe. No. Oh, he takes it too. Yeah, well I said, yeah, the turn player. Uh, if it battles anything, I think. Yes. <laughs> Mirror Force. You just activated my trap card. So, we'll put to, oh, fuck. Most I should have read what it did. Yeah, probably should have. It's whatever. Doesn't matter. Got another Mirror Force. Ouch. All right. Uh, well, graceful charity. What's like, what we can, what could we get rid of right now? Are we like, are we okay getting rid of Curse of Dragon and Karibo if we pull three great cards? Yeah, I'd be okay with it. Okay. Hopefully, we get like a polymerization and stuff. No. Nope. All right. Uh, so. I want to get rid of. We don't need Machu. It's so fucking specific and bullshit. It's to do. It's only if you have Summon Skull in the deck. That's oh. it. It's. I mean, we do have Summon Skull, though, yeah? Yeah, but it's... We don't need it. Huh. Alright, Weevil's about to get fucked. Alright, I attack him with my Mammoth Graveyard. And... Weak Dragon of the Guardian's Fortress, number one. Is there, like, a number two? Yes, there is. He's red. How many are there? Just I one think and two? just one and two, yeah. And there's nothing about them that's like even special. There's no fusion monster between them. There's no like special spell between them. It's just they happen to be there. And then uh... now we can do Curse of Dragon. All right, let's get rid of Graveyard. Also, I've been playing that the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links app. Yeah, how's that? It's pretty, pretty all right. Right now, because you, you can choose who you play or what character you use. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, I'm using Mai with her Harpy Ladies, and I have a whole wind-themed deck. I I never downloaded the app because at the same time the app came out, there was a like a uh, one of those knockoff apps. Okay. That's like, Oh, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, but not really kind of okay. things <laughs> circulating. So, mm -hmm. uh, when I saw Duel Links, I was like, there's no way that... Oh, fuck. I was like, yeah, there's no way that's actually a Yu-Gi-Oh app. Okay. Since they already have one. 
No, but this is... Well, it's super simplified. You only have three monsters and three spell cards, and it's only old cards. Oh, yeah? But... So is it kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh! Bam? Well, it's actually Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's, it's still with, like, all these same exact cards, but it's just simplified a little bit. Oh, okay. It's simpler cards and not as many play area spaces. Did you ever play Yu-Gi-Oh! Bam? I did, like, once. Let's play Slam do... Oh, I took that thunder damage. Dinosaur, zombie, and rock-type monsters. Well, no. We don't have any right now. Mm. I'm gonna play it. Oh, hey. That'll play. You don't want to play fucking Karibo? What? Play Karibo! Oh, I fucked it. I mean, you can't now. It's in the battle phase. It's whatever. Well. Ah, oh, Wabuku. Alright. Ah, oh, well, Wabuku. You yeah, you, why would you even do that? Get it off. Just square everything away. Sure, sure. Maybe, maybe someone somewhere in the world would have been like, Oh, you, you still could have attacked with them. And it would have been fucking useless. Great. Fucking great. You know, Karibo would have changed this. Yeah, Karibo would have changed it. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna lose anyways. Eh, uh, in the three turns it takes to go off of... In face. Yeah, this is not going well for Mr. Underwood. Huh? Underwood? Underwood, huh? I think he's related to, uh... Carry. Carry it. Probably not. Maybe. I gotta I gotta say probably not. I mean maybe. We don't know the uh we don't know the super in-depth lore of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, you know, I mean a random anime character in a card game or uh, card game anime is totally related to a real life country singer. Does she sing country? Yeah. Oh, I have no clue. <laughs> I just know Carrie Underwood. Hey, one don't even American do anything. Idol. Skip a turn. Skip your turn. Skip your turn. Sk skip your turn. Okay, just skip your turn. Skip. Okay. Now it's extra damage. Okay. Do both of them activate? Well, no. Okay. Hey, that was easy. Win. Not the most stimulating duel in the world. Eh, it's okay. Reverse duel. Yeah, now you can go back and duel as Weevil facing Yugi. Why do we get a My Booster back? Because that's the next battle. Oh. The Harpy Ladies with Joey. Story deck. It'd be kind of... Oh, okay. I guess it'd be kind of hard to implement like the original Yu-Gi-Oh rules where it's like, you know, it's 32 degrees outside. Oh, and, yeah. You know, my <laughs> windsock is blowing to the east, so... Fucking Harpy Lady gains 2,000 attack oh, points. Well, do you ever read the manga at all? Uh, I read a little bit of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! R, where he was, like, a super badass. Or, or, well, I guess most of that was not the card game, but in the original manga in the card game, instead of, like, the normal fields, like, everything was on a grid, and there's, like, an actual map that you played on, and the map had different areas and depending on what spot you put your monster in it so, got the different points oh so like the uh dice monsters that well Duke sort Devlin? of What's yeah his name? yeah also dice monsters is a fucking shit game i fucking hate it why <laughs> uh, it's just like, bullshit those are some pretty strong feelings about it well i mean it's the whole game is based around your dice rolls yeah and no matter how you build your card setup or everything else, there is a chance, based on the dice, that you will literally never be able to play anything. It's super unlikely, but you'll have... Basically, the whole game, you have no, like, player agency. It's all based on what the dice let you do. Oh, yeah? Um... Mm. And so, like, most games that have a dice-rolling element, you still choose your actions, and then the dice tell you if you can do those actions. Dungeon Dice Monsters, the dice tell you what actions you can do, when you can do them, how you can do them, how far you can do them, how well you can do them. It's all 100% related on the dice. Oh, no. I don't know it's what she was... Just, um... Yeah, I think... I, I don't know what they were doing. 
Harvey Queen. Uh, Harvey Chandler. Chandler. I've never seen these cards. <laughs> this is weird. But I thought. Oh. That's a and one out. Okay. okay. Oh, so you better be quick because she just pulled a harpy lady and now she has elegant egotist. Oh yeah. So. Next turn, she's getting out three Harpy Ladies. I also have Time Wizard. <laughs> okay, yeah, because so, we're going to rely on Time Wizard. I play Battle Ox in Attack Mode. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the worst card in the game. What are your spell cards that you have down? Uh, Sword and Shield and Grave Robber. Okay. So like one spell card from your mm. opponent's graveyard, you can use it from your hands at the end of the turn. Okay. Maybe she'll play a Palmerization I can get fucking... 3,000 fish I mean, dragon out. Yeah, she totally would have a polymerization in her deck that I she would play. Didn't notice that. With no fucking fusion monsters. Maybe. Yeah, oh no, when I was a kid, I didn't really have like... I had like an assortment of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Mm -hmm. And then what I'd do was... Um, I'd like... I really wouldn't know how to make a deck. I'd just be like, this card looks cool. Toss mm -hmm. it in there. Well, hell, I'm pretty sure Yu-Gi-Oh taught me how to read. Like, I fucking hated reading books. Yeah. But then I got into Yu-Gi-Oh because the pictures look cool, and then I was like, I really want to learn how to read. Or learn uh, how to read all of these cards. And I totally learned how to read, was like, read just huh. reading Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't know how I learned how to read. I think just one day I knew how to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I... You're gonna get fucked. You're getting fucked. I I have time wizard. Okay. Dude! Well, don't need time wizard Sparkle. when you have that bullshit. Oh, remember when that game off abandoned into semi limited? Sure. That was sure. a good day. It's not even a good card. I mean it's good in some scenarios. Okay. Think I can do it with Baby Dragon? Maybe. I mean hopefully you do get a polymerization just to be a badass, but well, fuck. Doesn't matter. Gonna get fucked anyways. Um, I kind of taught myself how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. I had a uh, like a little cartridge for the Game Boy. Yeah. It was. Do, oh. do you have Flame Sword on in your fusion deck? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you'd have to. Okay. But um, <laughs> the, don't <laughs> fucking do it. I mean. Ride or die. Heads or tails. Heads or tails. I'm gonna go with the Karibon. Fuck yeah! God damn it. Fucking time wizard! <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> but yeah, it was just a, uh, uh, game. I didn't really mm -hmm. know how to do anything. I just kind of clicked buttons until something happened. Okay. And then slowly over time I was like, I can do this and that and, you know, every now and then. Mm -hmm. well, um... Huh. By time, I it? had I had one Game Boy Color Yu-Gi-Oh game. Yeah. But that was shit. Because uh every card had like a point value. Yeah. And your deck couldn't exceed forty points. Really? Yeah, but they didn't tell you that. And so I didn't know when so I I would play like one or two games then get like a Dark Magician out of a pack or whatever the game would say, and then I'd be like, ooh, I'm gonna add Dark Magician to my deck. I'd add it in there, thinking, oh, you can have whatever cards you want in your deck, because that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is supposed to fucking be about. Yeah. And then the game was like, nope, sorry, you can't play. Man, it sucks that Dark Magician's a 39 cost card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, Root Guys is awesome. You, he, I mean, he's not great. I'm gonna get rid Masaki and Koji Kaki. Kasi? Set four stars. Hey. Yep. In my turn. Yep, that should get rid of him. Unless she plays Elegant Egotist again. <laughs> or something else like it. I mean, every. Th oh, fucking, what is that? Is that a sexual groan, Sam? No. It's a fucking Yu Gi Oh card, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey! I feel like that, uh, Takuhi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, Jerry no. Beans Van? Or play Baby Dragon. It's oh, perfect. Okay. It's perfect. Unless she's got like Mirror Force or something. So, also, that totally is Jer Jerry Bean Man. Yeah. I've seen that card for like the past five years. I always read it as Jelly Bean Man. 
Also. Fuuuuck. Fuuuuck. What fucking trap card was that? The best one. Special summon as many copies of Harpy Lee. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, you better have hope to have a... Time was there. Something. <laughs> I... She kills me next turn. Yeah? But, uh, yeah, do you think it's Jer Jerry, like his name is supposed to be Jerry, or... A bad translation. Like, yeah, or the Japanese racist against themselves. Well, you fucking lost. Of course you did. Of course you did. I don't think I could have done anything better. Alright, so... Yeah, we should probably call it an episode on that fucking horrible law. Tip! When in trouble, take a chance with Time Wizard! Okay, well, he's a fucking robot. What the fuck does he know? Don't forget he's to like, a, comment, and subscribe. He's got a fucking monocle on his robot eye. In the next episode... Why does a robot to... with a robot eye... Beat the shit out of my valentine. Why does a robot with a robot eye need a monocle? He looks cool. What the fuck, Adam? <laughs> Sammy fucking sucks.